Okay, so your child just did something wrong. He just threw a block across the room, broke your plant pot, and now you're mad. What do you do? What do you do? Okay, so we know kids learn in three ways, consistency, repetition, and imitation, right? So don't ignore that behavior because if you ignore it, it's just gonna escalate because he's just gonna do the next thing that he shouldn't be doing, right? So what you have to do is if he's really upset about it, say, let's breathe together. I'm gonna count to three. We're gonna take a deep breath in. One, two, three. Now we're gonna let it out. <sighs> okay, let's, listen, we're gonna take another deep breath for three. One, two, three. Okay, let's let it out. <sighs> you're gonna scooch down to eye level and you're gonna say, listen, I don't like it when you throw a block and break my plant pot because that makes me very sad. And I don't like when you do that because if you ignore this behavior, it's just gonna escalate into something else. So you have to kind of nip it in the bud. Do you know what I'm saying? So um, you address the behavior and you say, I don't like when you do that. And you might've hurt somebody because what if you threw the block and it hit me in the head or dad or grandma or, or auntie or your brother or sister. So I don't like when you do that and it's not safe. So now we're gonna sit in a chair um, for two or three minutes, depending on your child's age. And we're gonna think about it. Um, if they won't sit in a chair, try a high chair. If they won't sit in a high chair, put them in their room. The thing about putting them in a room though, if you have tons of toys in the room, it's not gonna work. So you need a corner of your house that has nothing to do that is just time to decompress. Do not give them an iPad. That's a reward in my opinion. So just make them stop and think for a bit until they can come back and behave in an appropriate manner, right? So it all can be fixed, but if you are consistent and do it all the time the same way, you're gonna curb that behavior. I can tell at my daycare center when someone doesn't follow through because I'll say, hey, Johnny, you know, stop doing that. And they keep doing it. And as soon as I take that first step toward them, they're like, oh, wow, she's coming. Oh, wow, she means business, which I always mean business. Then they stop and they're like, okay. So I can tell when parents at home don't follow through. They're just like, yeah, don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that and they just keep going. <laughs> Do you ever notice that? So you gotta nip it in the bud and you gotta be strong. And you know, it's not always fun and it takes energy and there's a million other things you could be doing, but you gotta curb it because if you can't curb them at three or four, you're not gonna curb them at five or six because at this point, there's, 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 there hasn't been clear boundaries that have been set and you have to do that. Okay, you could do it. Be strong. Visit us at www.adventuresofscubajack.com. I hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon.